He wasn't in there earlier today. So, look at tree swallow was sitting in there. They put, the tree, the tree swallows put feathers in, that's how you can tell the difference. They use feathers, or a bluebird, there won't be any feathers in it at all. So there's somebody in there. But tell them about bluebirds and tree swallows. Yeah, uh, bluebirds feed on the ground, and tree swallows feed in the air. Oh, you know, yeah. as you, cause yeah. you can see them. Yeah. They're those skydivers that are yeah, all over. Yeah, they get So, so they're compatible with having two houses. That's why you place two houses in pairs. So, a tree swallow can take one, and a bluebird takes the other. And so that's why you kind of put them in pairs so that yeah, you don't get that right. conflict. Okay. Or you can give them a choice. And then, uh, so, yeah, the bluebird nest is a fine, grassy, um, and this one changed in a day. <laughs> wow. Uh, then the tree swallow then adds feathers, puts feathers in it so you can tell it's a tree swallow with the feathers. If it was a chickadee, they use a moss. I don't know where they get the moss, but a moss an inch to two inches thick and uh, build a nest out of moss. And then a wren will stuff it with sticks to keep other birds out of it so it can build a nest somewhere else. And a sparrow builds a messy nest with anything, plastic, string, sticks, you know, they're messy. And the wren and the swallow are the two biggest predators against the bluebirds. Mm -hmm. They'll break their eggs or kill their young or you know, all of the above. So, I mean, people like wrens. I mean, there's a wren nest up in the tree in the front there. You know, we got to compromise. <laughs> and that's the way, that's the way nature, that's the way nature is. It's the Oreo nest.